Hello class, this is the third revision class for your banking law subject and we'll be talking about two more systems of banking which is a subtopic of unit 1 only. So in this video we'll be talking about chain banking system and group banking system. Now chain banking system and group banking system are also very simple like the previous two banking systems which we have just studied in the second video and we'll start with the group banking system. Now group banking system is a plan offered by banks that generally provide incentives for groups such as employees at a company if the group establishes a banking relationship with the institution. See group banking system is nothing but when a bank establishes a relationship with a company or with any kind of group. For example, I have taken the example of a company here or an organization here. For example, I have a company in which I have 2000 employees. Now I get into a tie up with a bank that all my employees would open the account in your bank only. And or, for example, with SBI. Now if I have tied up, made a tie up with the SBI, all my employees salary account would be opened in SBI only. Now SBI in lieu of this would give some in incentives to either to the employer or to the employee or sometimes they give the bank with which the group is making a tie up they give incentive more to the employer and less to the employee but they, they do get the employer do get some kind of incentive. I will repeat, group banking system means जब एक employer अपने सारे employees की simple तरीके से समझिए, सारे employees का salary account एक bank में खुलवा है, जैसे कि मेरे पास 2000 employees है और मैंने सब का salary account SBI में खुलवाया, तो SBI के साथ मेरा एक ऐसा tie up होगा, मैंने एक अपने group का account खुलवाया SBI में, group क्या है, मेरे employees का group, all my employees just consider them as one group. Now that is why the system is called group banking system. That is why I am using this word group again and again. Now when I have opened the whole account with SBI, all the employees have opened the salary account, so in the same way, in lieu of it, SBI would give me some kind of incentive? Yes, SBI would do that. And sometimes the bank also gives incentive to the employees also. So this is a system of group bank. This system call, is called as group banking system. Okay. For example, a bank may offer loans or other banking products to all the employees of an organization through a promotion. Ye bhi ek facility de sakta hai bank. Bank can give this facility also that they can give loan or a bank might offer employees of a larger employer special perk if they open a checking account with direct deposit, lower rates on home equity loans, that is lower interest, special perks on checking account, that is salary account, pe special uh, interest they sakte hai, or mortgages or higher interest on cash deposit. The FD which they will create, they will get higher interest on that. Potential incentive for group banking can include lower interest rate, lower fees and discount. Maybe the bank obviously charges some kind of interest from us because that is their fee because they maintain our accounts and everything. Maybe if a group banking system is there, that is all the employees of an organization account is there in one bank, bank might charge less fees from all those such accounts. Members of a group banking arrangement will usually have access to better perks than they would otherwise be able to obtain on their own. All the members of group banking system, that means employees. Employees will have better perks, better advantages as compared to if they open their own account anywhere else on their own. मतलब ग्रुप में एम्प्लॉयज को ज्यादा फायदा हो रहा है अपने से अकाउंट अलग से खुलवाएंगे ऑन देयर ओन खुलवाएंगे तो उतना फायदा नहीं होगा एम्प्लॉयज आर यूजुअली एबल टू चूज द अकाउंट टाइप्स एंड फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स दैट मीट देयर इंडिविजुअल नीड्स 
now how it works uh, obviously i have already told you a larger employee gets in touch with the bank and then all the employees uh, become the customer of the bank and all the employees accounts are opened in a bank so that they get benefit and the employer who gets all the uh, accounts opened of his employee would also get some benefit and obviously bank is also getting benefit because such a uh, big crowd is coming to them all at once all by them all by just one person coming to them for example if just me going to a bank is getting 2 2000 more customers to a bank is a very good deal main ek employer hu ek company ke owner hu main jaati hu aur ek bank account mein khulwati hu aur main apne sare employees ka bhi khulwati hu bank account usi bank mein that is a very good deal for a bank so that is how it works now what is the importance or the advantages group banking members may have access to lower interest lower fees discounts and other perks which we have already discussed now coming to the chain banking system i hope group banking system was very easy and you have understood please if you haven't understood go through your notes the notes which i have provided the slides this video lecture your own sources and please get back to me if you don't understand now coming to the chain banking system chain banking system is a form of banking when a small group of individuals control three or more banks which are independently chartered individuals secure enough stocks to get the controlling interest in a banking corporation involved the management can also be established via a board of directors that can be effectively create that can effectively create a network and undertake a supervision of banking activities chain banking system started in usa now what is a chain banking system chain banking system is a system where a group of individuals three or four individual control several banks now if if i just repeat what i have said with these three principle a small group of person own and control a number of independent bank there are many unit banks now a small group of person would come and they control the number of independent bank each bank carries its operation independently without any external interference by the holding company each member of a chain retains its identity for example uh, let's come to a real life situation that recession is going on okay and there are four five banks which are not doing very well four five unit banks now there are three four people who want to help those or own those banks so now three four people would come together and have uh, and by the now these three four people came together and they bought the shares of these four banks okay four people buying the shares of four bank collectively sab saath milke char bank char unit bank ke shares khareed lete hain theek hai now small the first point is satisfied small group of person own and control a number of independent banks char logon ne milke kai sare banks ko char panch banks ko ek sath independent bank ko khareed ke control karna shuru kiya now how would the management would take place all the banks would retain their identity and would work like the way they were working but now there will be a central management also they can retain their activity they all the unit banks or, or any type of branch bank is there if they are controlling that any type of branch bank is there if they are a small group of people are controlling it then they can do their own work but they are connected through a chain and that chain is one control one group of people who are the owners of the bank aise samajhiye chain banking system naam kyun rakha gaya char panch bank the alag alag kaam kar rahe the acha kaam nahi kar rahe the kuch log hain unhone char panch bank ke sath milke sath resources apne mila ke char panch bank ke shares wagaira khareed liye ab wo char panch log owners ho gaye ab जो बैंक्स के शेयर्स खरीदे वो अपनी तरीके से अभी भी काम कर रहे हैं और अपनी आइडेंटिटी अभी भी रिटेन कर रहे हैं नाम भी नहीं बदले गए बट ये जो पांच छह बैंक से जिनके शेयर्स खरीदे इन चार लोगों ने मिलके अब ये चारों सेंट्रली कंट्रोल करेंगे ये पांच छह बैंक को तो मतलब एक चेन से ये जो यूनिट बैंक थे जब ये सारे बैंक 
ये सब अलग अलग काम कर रहे थे बट अब ये एक चेन से ये सारे बैंक एक दूसरे से बंद गए अब एक दूसरे से रिलेटेड है ओके बिकॉज दे हैव कॉमन ओनर यू कैन से कॉमन ग्रुप विच हैव ओन्ड ऑल दीज बैंक नाउ दे हैव कम इन वन चेन आई होप द मीनिंग इज क्लियर टू यू Now, what are the advantages? It limits risk for a community. Obviously, uh, the bank wouldn't fail because the uh, bank, all the banks are now connected to each other and would help each other because the man, because the ownership is common. This system makes it possible to access banking facility when resources are when limited resources are there. Same repetition. When resources are limited, then two banks can function smoothly. एक का अगर resource कम है, छः bank हैं एक chain में, एक अच्छा नहीं कर रहा, तो दूसरा obviously help करेगा क्योंकि owners एक ही हैं सारे bank के. छः वो bank का जो owner है. All the six bank have a common ownership in the form of one single group owning all the banks. it provides an efficient system of management for better financial control obviously it is centrally managed so it is efficiently managed chain banking system rarely takes on unnecessary risk one bank cannot out of all the six banks in a chain one bank cannot discretionary take risk all the things are centrally decided so unnecessary risk can be avoided avoided it is an affordable affordable system of banking of course it is chain banking uh, stops unhealthy competition now consider the situation all these six banks which are now in a single chain earlier they were competitors of each other but now because they are owned by one single group now they would work for betterment of each other so unhealthy competition is avoided it avoids the need for a merger merger is when one bank or one group of company takes over the other group of company so merger is avoided because everyone being in the same chain can excuse me can retain their own identity individual identity identities benefit from purchase of scale because they are uh, i am maintaining their own identity they derive their individual benefits as well. now what are the disadvantages of chain banking system it limits over profit profitability obviously if one is not doing good other is doing good the profit profitability wouldn't be so much it would be balanced there is little engagement regarding the social welfare needs of the community they don't think much about the social welfare need it creates a centralized structure where one person may control the wealth obviously one group of people are controlling the wealth of all the six ba- banks if there are six banks in a chain chain banking concentrates the control of credit or th- authorization obviously the credit authority is with the people who are controlling the bank who are the owner it creates a system which looks like they have created a monopoly because they are because the though there are six bank but are controlled by one single group only so monopolistic tendency can be developed chain reactions create declines for everyone all the banks wouldn't uh, work efficiently in a chain banking system there can be clashes also so these are chain reactions che log saath mein ek saath kaam karna chahe na chahe is wajah se clashes bhi ho sakte hain isliye zaruri nahi chain banking system bahut acche se chal sake there can be rebellion within the system that is what i was talking about the sixth and seventh point are quite similar So class I'm done with all the four types of banking system if you find any difficulty please get back to me I'll be more than happy to help you thank you